In Tiananmen Square this morning, President Xi led the country in paying tribute to its revolutionary martyrs. Around the world, Tiananmen is known as the scene of a student massacre. But here, it is remembered as the place where Mao Zedong founded modern China. Today, final rehearsals were taking place for tomorrow's mass celebration and a military parade to mark the country's 70th anniversary. 300,000 people will take part and more than 15,000 army and navy personnel. Beijing has been decked out with banners and huge floral arrangements for the occasion. Lao Ge told us he was proud to be responsible for this display. Amid heightened security in the capital, plain-clothed policemen have been stationed on every corner. This one stopped us filming a part of the city which is on lockdown. It was easier to capture the flourish of flags. This is compulsory patriotism. And everyone must display their joy at seven decades of Communist Party rule. The progress celebrated here, the advancements achieved, are almost entirely material and economic. The extent of the restrictions and security measures imposed for this anniversary reflect the political state of a nation on which President Xi now has a totalitarian grip. It is the threat of Chinese control which is fueling the protests in Hong Kong. They have escalated as this anniversary approaches and violent clashes are expected to overshadow Beijing's big day. Li Wenzhou has been waging her battle for four years. Her husband was one of hundreds of human rights lawyers in China charged with subversion during a crackdown on dissent. The government has denied her husband his freedom and prevented their son from getting an education. The Chinese president tonight raised a toast to 70 years of communism and a party which some find divisive, but all must accept as dominant. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Beijing.